Nature-based solutions, green roofs and walls. Earth is increasingly facing the effects of climate change as a consequence of many years of industrialization. The importance of green infrastructure as means of mitigating this climate crisis is increasing. In order to strengthen productive green infrastructure in post-industrial urban regeneration, nature-based solutions such as green roofs and walls offer a wide range of functions in an urban context. The first known green walls were found in the Hanging Gardens of Babylon in 600 BC. Green roofs were used in cave-like structures covered with earth and plants to fulfill the role of agriculture, dwelling, and ceremonies. With time, numerous civilizations used climbing plants to cover buildings, what is now known as green facades and roofs. In the 1930s in America, greening buildings started with the development of hydroponic systems on green walls. In the 1960s, green roofs further developed in Germany. From there on, the trend spread to other countries. At an increasing rate, about 75% of the European population lives in urban areas. This has implications on social changes, health, and ecological shifts such as noise, air pollution, changing weather conditions, and loss of natural habitats. Green buildings serve as so-called nature-based solutions to address these challenges. Many existing buildings could install green roofs and improve urban quality. There are two types of green roofs, extensive and intensive roofs. They mostly differ in substrate height, weight, function, and the type of vegetation. Extensive green roofs use mostly low-growth plant species, such as succulents. This type of vegetation is low-maintenance but offers a habitat for plants and animals. Intensive green roofs have a higher layer of substrate, allowing for a broad range of plants, even trees. It can be used for sports and urban gardening or rooftop farming. Green roof systems consist of multiple layers. The ceiling layer functions as waterproofing and has to be resistant to repenetration. The protection layer allows an extra isolation to protect the roof from any damage. The drainage and storage layer allows the excess of water to be stored, maintaining its minerals and recycling them. A filter layer is then added to separate the surplus water from the vegetation layer. The substrate type and amount depends on the plant vegetation. This allows for roots to grow and store water, minerals and nutrients. Finally, the vegetation is planted. The vegetation can grow not only on the roofs but also on the walls of the building. This can be exterior as well as interior walls. There is ground-based screening. Depending on the design, climbing trellis can be installed on the facade to control the plant's growth to the desired height or specific areas. Climbing plants can be placed on a flat surface such as concrete or masonry and offer a complete coverage. With the living wall system, a fully green wall can be obtained. The whole facade is the continuous substrate planted body. The modular alternative allows a larger area of green using prefabricated modules that are mounted on closed facades with a substructure. The indoor walls are limited in size. Smart and active green walls are only used indoors because their air purification efficiency would not be powerful enough to impact outdoor spaces, thus allowing specific tropical plants to be used as well. In order to make the targeted decision, there are specific criteria that must be analyzed such as the design, chosen location, soil quality, irrigation, sewage options, installation, and types of plants. Dense urban areas benefit from plants carrying out photosynthesis, producing oxygen, evaporating water, and thus having a cooling effect as well as a filtering air pollutants from road traffic. Green roofs or walls promote efficient energy consumption by acting as an insulation layer. Climbing plants can be placed in natural curtains which during the summer shield the building from sunshine and in winter allow more heat from the sun to warm the building, lowering maintenance and heating or cooling costs. Everyday habitats are lost and many of our indefinite natural resources are consumed. By greening buildings, we help create new habitats for species, such as pollinator-friendly environments or nesting spaces for birds, improving biodiversity in urban areas. Larger rooftop farming initiatives can contribute to local food value change and create jobs. The vegetation and substrate of green buildings are a great solution to use the water in a controlled and efficient way, retaining up to 100% of the water and releasing it slowly with time. In addition, polluted water is being filtered and cleaned by the vegetation.
Benefits associated with greenery systems include noise attenuation, and green buildings offer potentials of sound and insulation inside and outside the building. Studies show that a green environment provides a better workspace and thus benefits greatly on the citizens' well-being. Consequently, the green roofs and walls are powerful nature-based solutions to improve the building and the environment. Find out which services greening buildings offer and which technology is available to green your building. Be part of the change. Bring plants to the city.